If Lord 4 released Anclaw Code, you might be a bit confused as to where you might go for Cursor or Windsurf's built-in chat editor, or you go with Claude Code's now native plugin for VS Code. I've been using Claude Code now for a, for a few days, and I'm just going to break down the differences between the two and where you might choose one or the other. Let's get a couple of things out the way first. It's how you install Claude Code into VS Code. You're first of all going to obviously want to have Node.js installed. And if you copy this command here, npm install, run that in your terminal and it will install globally. Then inside cursor, windsurf or VS Code, the moment you type in Claude, it'll ask you if you want to log in. It will then be installed, but you can't find it via the extensions panel. And now Every time you open up Windsurf or Cursor from this point onwards, you can see the Run Claude Code uh, button here, or you can type Command Escape and it'll open Claude Code. And then you can realistically just close your normal chat window and just use Claude Code from this point onwards. I'm going to keep that open because we're going to run the comparison here and talk about it. Realistically, there's not much they're adding to this sort of plugin, they call it. Realistically, it's just like a slightly more modified version of the terminal. It gets context here. You can select lines of code and you'll see that it picks up that context again, or you can go per file. But other than that, pretty much everything else the same. The second thing I want to get out of the way is the difference between, if we click on the... Uh, modal drop down here is max mode. This is different from using the max plan inside of Claude code. And we'll get into that being one of the main differences later on in the episode. But when you logged in, you got to choose between the API route or you got to choose between the max plan uh, subscription route. Max here is different. This is basically saying on top of your cursor or windsurf subscription, you're paying for API usage for these much more expensive, much more powerful models. So that is very different to the max plan mode of board code. Going through the main differences, you can, of course, use Claude code as the in the side of the terminal. It's code code base uh, agnostic. It doesn't care whether you're doing it in Python, whether you're working with Xcode code. Claude code will just work whatever folder that you're running it from, if indeed you're using it from the terminal. And this can be very powerful. It removes a lot of distracting elements of VS code. And a lot of coders don't need to look at the code. So it's a very clean interface. But when it comes to the plugin here, you'll of course get that context, that visibility of the code, depends how you'd like to work. Other than that, the deep integration that the chat window here has inside of uh, Cursor or Windsurf, you get so much more here. You get a lot of the MCP stuff, you get a lot of the tool calling, the interface itself, the IDE, gives you a GUI to work with those things, where again, call code is very much like terminal-based kind of installations of all of these tool calls. Creating new chats as well is a lot easier. You can create new chats, of course, here by running the clear history and that clears out the context. But again, it's a very much like code sort of interactive way to do certain things where here you get a GUI and you just might prefer that. The way that these two write code is very different as well. Um, unless you turn on YOLO mode or what used to be called YOLO mode, it's now sort of auto agent inside of cursor settings enable auto run mode unless you've got this enabled it's really just going to ask you every single step of the way whether you want to uh, run a piece of code or whatever you might prefer that but claw code has a lot of autonomy it will kind of it's they call it incremental trust-based autonomy so you run a bit of code it'll ask you if it's allowed to run that code you can say yes or you can say yes and allow that for the session for the code quality, you're going to get the same quality really as running Claude for Sonnet in here as you are inside of Claude code. I think the um, auto, the because it's a hybrid model, if we type slash model here, the default here, I'm running on Sonnet. But the default here is a hybrid model. It will run on Sonnet for lighter tasks, but the moment it starts, to, it thinks it needs to run a bit deeper. It will expand then to Opus and then even deep thinking Opus mode if you then prompt it to. So there's a lot more flexibility and speed obtained just by going in, just trusting that Claw Code is going to automatically adjust the model, whereas you indeed need to be a bit more explicit. But which of those works for you is completely dependent on what you do.
both of these tools can help you with Git submit, submitting Git repos and things like that. I do like the verboseness of Claude code. It really looks at what you've done and uh, summarizes the Git commit message. And however, the agent can pretty much do basic messaging and things like that, but it will still work. But really to me, the biggest thing is the pricing. Using the API is a lot more expensive because you're charged based on your actual usage, which Claude is just an expensive model. You're not going to escape that. If you are a heavy user of Claude already, then it might actually be worth going for the $100 plan because you get unlimited usage pretty much. Um, it resets every five hours. So you get very, very generous limits for that $100. Whereas if you went for the Anthropic API usage, you're paying for Cursor or Windsurf and then your API usage on top of that which can end up in the hundreds of dollars. It's actually also just been announced that the Pro plan now includes access to Claude Co, which is really cool. Uh, if we look at limits here, it's saying that you get around 200 English sentences. Now, they use different vernacular for the max plan. They actually tell you messages instead of sentences, at least 225 messages every five hours. So what I can deduce is that this is about half the amount you get on the $100 uh, plan. It's yet to be seen realistically how long this lasts. It's a nice option if you're just a lighter user of Claude. I'm going to be giving this a go when my $100 plan maxes out and I'll be able to update you when, but this was literally, I'm adding this to the video day before it's supposed to go out. So yeah, pretty cool though. And if you did need more than the max 20, which is just a crazy amount, you can almost guarantee this is going to cover your cost. But start with max 5x and then move on to max 20 if you need it to. So realistically, it comes down to if you are a heavy user of Claude inside of Cursor or Windsurf already, you're often turning on the max plan, then I would strongly suggest you try Claude code and get to know Claude Co Familiar because it's very powerful with Claude 4. It ends up being a lot cheaper than the max mode or even just API usage. This feels like a lot more verbose and just a better implementation of using Claude. If you like experimenting with models, you prefer the deeper integration with VS Code, you like having a GUI to be able to change your settings and do certain things, then maybe just sticking with the agent mode inside of Windsurf or Cursor better for you. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, do let me know down in the comments. Like, double check that subscribe button just to make sure you are. Thanks to my Patreons for supporting the channel as thank you to you for watching to the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one.